Crazy Reinas, High Kings and Queens. I pray that today I find you excited, welcoming September. This is going to be a September to remember. I speak that prophetically and I pray that we're all in agreement and excitement for this September. That today is September 1st. Excuse me why I adjust my camera. I hope it stays like that. Um, today we're reading from uh, John 16, 33, which reads, In this world you will have trouble, period, but take heart, exclamation point. I have overcome the world. What does that mean? To me, that seriously means that no matter what we're facing in life, we're going to have good days, bad days. We're going to have troubles. We're going to have uh, problems, solutions. But more than anything, it's important for you to take heart that he has overcome the world already. So meaning that whatever it is that you're facing, it's already been done. There's already a solution. There's already, um, there's already a solution for whatever it is that you're experiencing. So I'm excited for you. And today, pardon me why I am reading uh, from my husband's phone because I don't have the daily bread. But today's title is God's Epic Story. And I'm praying for you even if you're not excited um, that it's September 1st. I'm excited because my birthday's in September. But more than anything, to me, September is basically like ending summer. The weather may not be adjusting as quickly as the seasons change. However, when September is here, I truly get excited because I just feel like pumpkin stuff starts coming in and all that other stuff. Anyways, there's a transition. So I pray that you feel that transition in your spirit, in the physical sense, and even in your emotional sense. Everywhere I pray that you feel that adjustment of fall approaching just a new season and what does that mean that means that whatever has happened in the past season that it is terminated it's ended take whatever you can learn from it and continue forward so today's title is god's epic story and let me begin father in the name of jesus i pray that you anoint these lips i pray that you have your way lord and thank you for this time thank you for us being alive thank you for giving us prosperity peace protection more than anything lord leaving us forever changed forever intimate with you greater faith and greater wisdom in the name of jesus i pray amen here, let me begin. Life's Magazine, July 12, 1968, cover displayed a hor horrifying photograph of starving children from Biafra in Nigeria during the Civil War. A young boy distressed took a copy of the magazine to a pastor and asked, does God know about this? The pastor replied, I know you don't understand, but yes, God knows about that. The boy walked out declaring he was uninterested in such a God. I don't blame him in a doubtful place because of things that happened carry on these questions disturb not only children but all of us alongside an affirmation of God's mysterious knowledge I wish that boy had heard about the epic story God is continuing to write even in places like the former nation of Biafra Jesus unfolded this story for his followers those who assume he'd shield them from hardship Christ told them instead that in this world you will have trouble. What Jesus did offer, however, was his promise that these evils weren't the end. In fact, he'd already overcome the world. And in God's final chapter, every injustice will be undone. Every suffering will be healed. Hold on, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, I had to... Jesus unfolded the story for his followers, those who assume he had shielded them from hardship. Christ told them instead that in this world you will have trouble. What Jesus did offer, however, was his promise that these evils weren't the end. In fact, he'd already overcome the world. And in God's final chapter, every injustice will be undone, every suffering healed. Amen. Genesis to Revelation recounts the story of God destroying every unthinkable evil, making every wrong right. The story presents the loving one whose interest in us is unquestioned. Jesus said to his disciples, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. May we rest in his peace and presence today. What I got from this is, well, the insight um, notes is John's gospel focuses on seven sign miracles and Jesus seven I am claims. The upper room dis, uh, discourse is the main teaching focus of the gospel in this account. The teaching was given the night before the cross as Christ was preparing his disciples for his crucifixion, resurrection, ascension, and return. One of the main features of the upper room discourse is the promise and purpose of the coming of the Holy Spirit, which gives us great hope. Um, the Holy Spirit is what comes and comforts us when we need comfort. Um, carry on. Jesus' provision for his people after his departure. 
that that's the holy spirit when he left the earth that's what we have is his holy spirit when that's the whole reason why so we could have the holy spirit the promise was eventually fulfilled on the day of the pentecost some 10 days after christ's ascension to heaven when the spirit came to indwell believers in jesus that is why we have the holy spirit um and, and that is why God gives us that is the hope that we have because when God was crucified on the cross and left this earth um, we, we le were left with the Holy Spirit thank God for that and today's question uh, is how does the story you see feel tragic um, and when we were when I was reading it that's why I said like I do understand why people can say at times that there is no God or what kind of God would allow things like this to happen however I don't have the answers to all of that but what I do know is that there is hope I know that everything that may happen in our lives that may try to be, ha, cause evil or sometimes cause evil i know that it has a greater cause and i know that the lord always has the final say the final act so whatever it is that you're facing right now i truly believe and i truly know that there is going to be a best benefit for it god knows everything and he purposes everything for a greater reason than we can probably even fathom however we have to know and have comfort in knowing that the holy spirit is with us even when we feel the most alone I, I can see a lot of things that happen in this world and when I was a, a amateur Christian I would always think to myself like why why is it that these things, why is it that these things happen why is it that there, God would allow these things to happen but we all have choices just as we have choice to go to church on Sunday or to tithe from our financial uh, from our finances we all have a choice and I think that that is how people choose to do evil or to do good in life um, the second question is, I don't want to go off subject. The second question is, how does Jesus promise to write a good ending for, for you? Um, as I was mentioning right now, I truly believe and know that everything that happens in our lives is always going to best benefit for our lives. Even though we may not understand certain things, like there's people that leave our, li our lives, you know, young. They may, they may uh, pass away young and we don't understand. Um, it's not for us to always understand. It's just for us to obey the Holy Spirit and to seek his comfort, seek um, his love seek whatever it is that you need and I'm telling you that men and humans will fail us but God won't um, today's prayer is dear God it's hard for us to see how you'll write all the evils but we trust you to do it and that's the that's the main thing that God wants from us is for us to trust him no matter what we may be facing no matter what we may be enduring what we we may be experiencing I will tell you that I myself experience things that I don't understand um, and, and I think the only the only thing that gives me a great comfort is knowing that God created me, God created others, God has a purpose for everything, even though I may not understand, even though things that may happen, I think the purpose is always to want what he wants, which is wanting his best for our lives. So I pray that whoever is under the sound of my voice right now, it's not an accident. I believe that the Lord orchestrated it as such for a strategic reason and purpose. Uh, I am not here just speaking and wasting my breath. I truly believe that the Lord calls me to speak on these daily devotionals because many of us may read the Bible and many of us don't have understanding i myself have many bibles because i don't understand the bible and i'll be the first to admit maybe it's just me i don't understand a lot of things that i read in the bible but as i study and i seek the holy spirit to give me wisdom knowledge understanding um he does and it's crazy because i could read something in, in the bible read scripture or read something that i don't understand and then something will be happening like in front of me wherever i'm at <laughs> and seriously the lord will give me great revelation and i'm just like oh wow i got it now and that's why i say for us to surrender daily to God because he is the only thing and person and spirit that can get us through whatever it is and not only that that can give us great infinite wisdom knowledge education insight ideas to create the life that he called us to create which is a life of prosperity not a life that's causing us harm or not a life where the evil is prevailing in our life I'm telling you that whatever it is that you're facing today I tell you wake with expectancy wake with praying and asking the Lord and thanking the Lord for his works thank you for the for the knowledge Lord thank you for my health I would tell you if you seriously seek him read his word give yourself 15 days give yourself five minutes a day especially as we're entering september make yourself a little five minute where you can read devotionals if you need one please inbox me if you need prayer a bible please inbox me i will see to it that uh, i get you one um and today i am wearing uh the lord and esme beauty holy lash which is the hagar lash which is my favorite lash um you can get this lash for 12 dollars. i'll put the link below if you're interested in purchasing the lord and esme 
holy lashes what are they as me they're holy lashes dedicated consecrated to god named in honor of women in the bible why did i make such a lash because i wanted women to yes um seek beauty internally and get educated on the word and women in the bible that may experience things that you too are experiencing and get some type of inspiration encouragement and education on the bible through the beauty if that makes sense <laughs> so um i pray that today this added value to your life i pray that you have a restful rejuvenated weekend and that you make time to spend with god um if you want to go to church there's cbc's on saturday cbc church on saturdays at 5 p.m if you want on sundays there's pearl street church it has three different times if you want cbc on sunday um there's life point over there and i believe the helotus area there's many many churches if you want a recommendation i can send you and i've been to a lot of churches because i moved around in my life a lot however i will tell you that if you just find a bible-based church and read your word he will change your life he will transform your life and i'm telling you that the only hope that there is that will not fail you is god so god bless you thank you for your time today i pray that it added value to your life it did add value to mine and thank you for all you who tune in to me please share 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 if you've been blessed by this because there's people that don't have any um any holy spirit any word of god in their algorithm in their social media so please feel free to share this i am on youtube as well which is lord and esme um and i do put a lot of stuff that i do whatever it is that god lays in my heart i share it but I just pray that you're blessed and um, I've had many people inquiring about my hair um, my hair is Lord Nesme Beauty Salon I do do hair uh, part-time um, I have many hats but I'm focusing mainly on giving the word and educating others so please share 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 if you've been blessed by today and thank you for your time remember God loves you this too shall pass God is at work and you were created to create and you are a queen or a queen so respect re reign responsibly what does that mean that means that whatever you are reigning over or you call to serve in your community your household your mother your father you are called to reign responsibly reigning is assuming responsibility for an area or territory that you are influence or influencing around so god bless y'all i'll see y'all soon have a, a productive peaceful protected and prosperous weekend i love y'all god bless bye